What's it like, being you? I'm, 57 last week. Married 33 yes. To the greatest woman ever. I drink. She doesn't. Not allowed to sleep in the big bed if I've had even one cocktail. Smiley face, smiley face. Have an awesome man cave. I'm typing from my recliner right now watching 21 Jump Street. Smiley face. Having a cocktail. Smiley face. Work hard as a chef. Love to cook. Been cooking for 41 years as a job. Just got listed at number 3 on a list of 25 best diners in and around my town. Felt awesome. Have a grandson. He's my life. If I knew they were this much fun I would have had the grandson first. Raising kids is hard. Dot. I raised two boys. Greatest men I know. Overall I'm a happy guy. Day off tomorrow. Think I'll take grandson to the beach. Smiley face. I'm 19, working all summer in a water park in Paros, Greece just to make some money in order to buy a cheap ass car. Feels nice. Hey got a hustle to get that car. I hear you. It is pretty good, a little lonely sometimes but not bad. Women don't beat down my door but knock politely on occasion. The debt though, college is expensive. Women don't beat down my door but knock politely on occasion, smiley face, I'm sorry, but the way you structured that was pretty impressive. 3 tenths wouldn't recommend. With rice, 5 tenths. Pays crap, benefits are worse, but you get plenty of time to think. I have no skills in anything and I still manage to be optimistic. Got a lot of things to say, but not a lot of people to say them to. A nice mix of anxiety, music, back pain, and avoiding people. Slowly going downhill each day. I never consider myself good enough for life pursuits or people. You dream of jobs and kids, a wife, and luck in love, and love for life, and all above, and even more. In dreams you've always waited for. You dream of things you've hoped were true. And things you always thought you knew. And when you do, you dream each night. Of what could be, and what just might. But now you think inside your head. That all those thoughts and words unsaid. And all you've always hoped to do. Perhaps they're just not made for you. Well fuck that noise. They are for you. As much as yours as others too. And life is hard. And life is tough. But you, my friend, are good enough. In my last year of school, in a big group of friends but still an outsider because of how late I joined the group. Generally pretty happy though, most of the time. Edit, for a little more context for people that may want it. I joined a football team, British football, because two friends played in it. I knew them from classes and one of them was in said group. A lot of the people from the group had joined the team as one of their parents started it. One of my friends invited me because I was pretty good at football. Over time I joined the group slowly, I'm still closest with the two that involved me into the group, the football team is over but I still get invited to go play out with them all the time, other than that I don't get invited out drinking or anything, the only group chat I'm in is one to get people to play football because I always go out. A generally well pieced together guy who sometimes has a complete breakdown, like right now. Edit, holy shit this blew up, I appreciate the well wishes everyone, we're all feeling a little better about it. I wish I could thank everyone individually but your replies and comments are encouraging. And LT, 3. What's going on? Pretty awesome. Get up, go to work, bust my ass for no appreciation from my bosses. Go home routine shit and shower. Spend the next couple hours just being alone. Maybe go try to do something usually too broke to do anything. Hang out with my one good friend every other day. Go to bed. Rinse. Repeat. Oh wait fuck that's actually super lame. You have a friend with whom you hang out every other day? That's pretty good emo. Painful, but sometimes it seems like wonderful. My wife, the love of my life, died 10 days ago. She was 33 years old. She was diagnosed with cancer on February 2018, three months after we got married. I became her caretaker and fully supported her while she lived with the disease and when she died of it. I quit my job, spent all my savings, gave up my life for her. I am glad I did it. I am now trying to rebuild my life from the ashes, without her. I have a lot of support from her friends and my friends, but I still feel most days I won't make it. 
I can't make it without her. This is too hard. At times, I remember the wonderful miracle of our love and all the things we learned together, how much I've grown and transformed, how much she was loved until the very end. And life feels beautiful. It's like being you, except taller. Edit, ooh, gold. Yummy. For those asking, I'm only 4 minutes 31 seconds so not really so different from you. My point was that I could have said older, uglier, poorer, etc. We're all just getting by best as we can. Sometimes I don't like being me, but I can't think of anyone else I'd want to be. I gotta take pills to keep myself from wanting to die, and sometimes they don't even work macron backslash underscore underscore slash macron. Edit, thank you guys for sharing your support and experiences. I'm glad to know that people understand what I'm going through. Love you guys can be exhausting. Living with an anxiety disorder so everything that is said to me, first has to go to my filter to be sure what somebody meant. I come of as confident and people often forget about my struggles. Mediocre at best. Come on, can't be that mediocre. Extremely depressing. Failed college. Thousands in debt. No job. Extreme anxiety and depression. Living at home with my mom. Currently in my bed crying. Edit, thanks for all the kind words. I'm mentally in a good place cause of all you, so thank you. It's gonna be okay. Life has a way of beating you to a pulp before offering her hand. It's a constant feeling that the wrong people have won medical bills and constantly stressed out. I'm type 1 diabetic. Other than that life's pretty good. Imagine being a really awkward person who everyone treats condescendingly because you can barely look them in the eye. Being energetic to the point where you're constantly needing to move something but yet everyone tells you oh I wish I had that energy, you're so lucky, and sprinkle some self-loathing and occasional suicidal thoughts on top. Edit, thank you. Not for the amount of comments or upvotes or whatever, but for taking the time to comment and help some internet stranger who won't affect your life at all. I will be talking to my parents slash GP about my Asperger's, and although that probably won't be for a while, I'll be on my way to a more normal life, as normal as it can get anyways lmao. Edit 2. ADHD seems to be a lot more intense than what I'm experiencing. Gay. Lol that's pretty gay. Man, so many people apparently don't like being themselves here. I love being me. Sure, things aren't perfect, health issues, job issues, etc, but I'm a big believer in goal setting and follow through. Do I achieve all of my goals? Lol no but I've achieved some pretty awesome things in my time. I love that I'm in charge of my life. For the most part, if something isn't making me happy, either I can wait it out or I can make a change. This beautiful life is short, so I want to make the most of it. Being me is exhausting, fulfilling, exciting, and sometimes nerve-wracking. I'm so glad I'm here. Most of you are going through what I can only say, are some pretty tough things. Be it with work, your significant other, your family life, your health, your relationships, or your own personal struggles. I truly hope you people get better. I mean, I believe things always get better seeing life is full of ups and downs and can only get better if you persevere through all the bullshit. For those of you who are disabled, I hope you can still live a long and happy life despite your disabilities. I just hope you all come out of your dark times with better days ahead and live very long and fruitful lives. I know I'll have some pretty low days. I'm only 20 but I trust that I'll be able to overcome them and you should too. Things may get worse, but once you've hit rock bottom, you can either stay there, or pick yourself up and give that ex that called you a fucking bum, the finger. If you have anything you disagree with in this statement, I'm happy to gain some more insight. Like I said, I'm only 20 and I would love to see things from another person's point of view regarding what I just said, so feel free to respond. Good, no talent but I have a history of being lucky so things usually turns out okay. I have social anxiety, and I am an extrovert. Now, I'm just confused. I must be the only person in here who likes being me lmao. Yeah, things aren't perfect and they could get better but I'm healthy, have a loving family, great prospects and big projects I'm working towards achieving. I'm young, cute, fairly smart. Not rich but not poor and have a great, however, not big, social circle. Life's pretty good. 
schizophrenia, panic disorder, bipolar, PTSD. My dick has been painfully shriveling up with scar tissue for almost a year now. Perinese disease. I've spent 99.9% of the last four years locked in my room with the computer. I'm underweight because my fucky heart or whatever ambiguous shit requires me to hardcore diet or I'll get insane palpitations. The bright light at the end of the tunnel was getting on disability pay. Nothing much changed. My cognitive health has taken such a steep decline that I'm set up to see a new role soon. It's like being drunk and drugged in a dream in a dream. I randomly feel like I'm suffocating, and it isn't much more than frustrating at this point. My life has been constantly downhill since before I got out of high school. I always prided myself in my ability to handle hardship with a straight face, but lately that face is fading to a dead, empty stare. Though recently, I've snapped from the stress and gone borderline manic, which means I'm in a decent and excitable mood most of the time when I'm not having the occasional meltdown. Zero friends, zero social interactions, formal talks with your classmates once in a while, listening to music no one listens to, can't help but unrelate with everybody near you. Not bad. Could be worse. ITT, existential angst. Quiet. Middling. That point in your life where you have started into a career, no clue if it's what you want, and relationships are so weird. It's basically like being human kintsukuroi, I break, I fix myself. Rinse and repeat. Pretty damn great, I'm married, buying a house and a kid on the way. Things are looking up. Sure my job could be a bit better but I'm working on a proposal for work to try and leap up a bit in the corporate ladder. Kinda boring, but can't complain too much. Being me is like feeling constantly overexcited and ready to throw a million parties on the outside, yet at the same time feeling self-conscious and rejected on the inside. I think I'm considered very strange by my peers, but they never outright reject me. Maybe it's because I talk weird. Maybe it's because I like shows that no one else here likes and they don't know what to say so they change the subject. Or maybe it's my self-doubt being projected onto others. I'm not sure. But it's a very weird place to be at this time in my life, that's for sure. First boyfriend left me 8 months ago, all of my grandparents health is in decline, I'm starting what should have been my senior year of college tomorrow, but I changed majors so I'm back down to being a sophomore. I'm happy to be spending my last day at home with my dogs and parents, but my dad doesn't want me to go back to school because he misses me too much. It would be sweet, except for the fact that he is acting manipulative to keep me from going back until the last minute. I have about two friends at college one of whom I should cut out of my life because he thinks that the answer no. When he asks me to be his GF means try again in a few months. Making new friends is hard because of social anxiety. Despite all of this, I find moments to be happy. I love when my dogs stare deep into my eyes and kiss my face. I like to take photos of different things in nature. Love watching the sunset. I'm excited to move into and set up my new dorm. I like to think that these things I'm facing right now are all temporary setbacks, and will look small in hindsight. I'm hoping I haven't peaked yet, and the best is yet to come. I feel completely out of place on this planet. My priorities seem so different than everyone else I meet. Feeling like I know the person I want to be, but have no desire to get there anymore. Confusing and stressful, I try really hard to be the best person I can to people and they are pretty shit back. For some reason I still feel like if I just keep trying to be good then eventually it will be reciprocated. I've had a few good things happen to me as of late, so I definitely take it as a sign that it will.